I was feeling rougher than my Aunt Henry's face after she's gone three days without a shave. Meg was still on its one-way train ride out of the dreamland, and I had no idea that I was about to receive my biggest assignment yet. I wore my black suit because it was the only one that didn't smell like old people. I was dirty, bleary-eyed, and a little hungover, and I didn't care who knew it. I made it from my apartment to the office in just under 30 seconds and congratulated myself for my efficiency. I'd only just begun the really important work when there was a knock on the door of my office. She was beautiful, elegant, feminine. She had a look that could kill even the strongest of men. Jesus, Martin. Would you stop staring at me like that? Oh, Mr. Hollybrook, hi. What's this, Martin? Um, it's very clearly stated in the rental agreement that there are no advertisements of any kind to be posted on the door of your flat. Sorry, sir. I've got a case for you, Mr. Detective. Last month's rent. A new case? Yeah, see, there's this guy who owes me money and um, watches too many movies and is kind of stuck in his own imagination. I am giving you till Thursday, Martin. I didn't want to take on the case of the missing rent. I've never been much of a debt collector. But I knew that if I wanted to keep a roof over my head for the next month, I'd have to do it. My first part of call was a Miss Janet Antilio. She's the one they called the snake. I thought I'd find you a snake. Oh, Martin. Where is it, snake? Why do you even call me that? It's really weird. No, it's to play games, you snake. Where's the money? What, are you trying to ask me for a job? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Get me on your side. Keep the law for you. Well, no dice. What a jackass. Yeah. If the snake knew anything about the missing rent, she wasn't going to tell me. There was only one person left who could help. The last resort that all men pray they'll never have to turn to. Hi. Mum? Oh, hello dear. How's the uh, detective work going? Yeah, great, thanks. Uh, I, I've got a case. Uh, I need to track down a month's rent. Oh, not again, honey. Look, Mum, it's a rough city. There's not many people I can trust. I need your help. You have to promise this will be the last time, okay? You're 23 years old, Martin. Okay, I promise. Thank you for your cooperation. Don't forget your sister's birthday next week! The case hadn't been easy. I'd had to burn some bridges and sink to depths I'd never been down to before, but I finally got to the bottom of it. A few weeks later, Hollybrook came back to my office with another assignment, said he was looking for next month's rent. That's a whole other story for a whole other movie. <laughs>